Welcome to the Hypertherm Cutting Institute training video, PowerMax Pressure Faults for Systems Under 50 Amps. This video will help you to identify the symptoms of a low pressure error for the PowerMax 30, 30XP, 45, and 45XP. We will discuss the most common solutions to this fault code. With PowerMax systems, interruptions may occur while cutting. To quickly return to your normal cutting operation, it's important to identify the symptoms of cutting failures and the location of the fault icons. Always check the front panel for loss of power or fault icons. For the PowerMax 30, 30XP, 45 and 45XP, a low pressure fault can be identified when the torch fails to fire and the gas pressure light is illuminated. Start by checking the inlet gas line and torch lead for leaks or restrictions. Next, check the pressure gauge at the gas source to verify the output setting. Reference your hypertherm operator's manual for the correct pressure settings. There are two ways to read the gas pressure, static, when the gas is not flowing through the machine, and dynamic, when the gas is flowing. It's important to make sure that the gas pressure stays above the minimum threshold when the gas is flowing during gas test mode. Please note that the PowerMax 30 and 30XP have no gas test mode. If you find that the incoming gas pressure is too low, increase the pressure to the acceptable range. When the gas pressure is within the operating range, the gas pressure light will turn off and the torch will continue operation. A gas test mode can be used when operating the PowerMax 45 and 45XP to check for sufficient gas flow from the machine. To enter gas test mode for the PowerMax 45, set the amperage adjustment knob to the gas test position, fully counterclockwise. On the top of the system, pull up on the pressure regulator knob to unlock it. Turning this knob will regulate gas flow through the system. On the front of the machine, you'll notice the pressure bar on the right side. Turn the regulator knob until the pressure LED shows a green bar in the center and then press down on the knob. This will lock it into position. Turning the amperage knob to the cutting current for your application will exit gas test mode. To enter gas test mode for the PowerMax 45XP, press and hold the mode button for approximately 5 seconds. Release the mode button when the two-digit display shows the letters PC. This will indicate a pressure check. The set pressure blinks on the two-digit display before the actual output gas pressure will be displayed. Make note of the set pressure so it can be compared to the actual pressure. While in gas test mode, also check for air flowing continuously from the torch tip and that the amps LED remains off. Exit the gas test mode by pressing the mode button. If the actual pressure needs to be raised or lowered for the cutting application, press and hold the mode button with one hand. Turn the adjustment knob to the desired gas pressure with the other hand. After you release the mode button, the two-digit display changes from gas pressure back to amperage. For a low pressure fault that continues for the PowerMax 30, 30XP and 45, the air filter element will have to be inspected. To inspect the air filter on all PowerMax systems, the machine will need to be turned off and disconnected from the power source. Also disconnect the gas supply at the machine. Remove the cover from the power supply by unscrewing the two Phillips head screws on each side of the handle. The handle will separate and the cover will slide upwards. On the right side of the machine, Locate and remove the drain hose from the hole in the bottom of the power supply's base. Unscrew the nut that holds the air filter in the bracket. As you unscrew the nut, tip the bottom of the air filter away from the power supply. This will aid in the removal of the filter. With the body tipped, unscrew the filter bowl from the body. When using the PowerMax 45, the glass filter tube will need to be removed by twisting and pulling gently until it releases. Unscrew the element from the filter body and inspect for oil or other debris that may cause restrictions in gas flow. If the element is dirty, replace it with a new hypertherm air filter and screw it back into the body. For PowerMax 45 machines, place the glass filter tube inside the filter bowl. Reattach the filter bowl and reposition the air filter assembly in the bracket. Once in place, 
screw the retainer nut back on. Connect the drain hose and reassemble the cover with the handle. After the power supply has been reassembled, reconnect the electrical power and gas supply. For the PowerMax 45 XP, the filter is located on the back of the machine. To remove and inspect, first locate the air filter assembly below the gas quick disconnect fitting. Remove the air filter bowl by unscrewing the metal guard. It will separate from the air filter assembly inside the power supply. Next, remove the air filter bowl from the metal guard. Inside the bowl will be the filter element. Gently pry the element out of the bowl, being careful not to damage the O-ring at the top of the bowl. With the element in hand, twist the plastic fittings approximately a quarter turn until they come apart. Set the fittings aside and inspect the element for oil or debris. If dirty or damaged, replace it with a new air filter element. Enclose the new element in the plastic fittings and twist them until they lock together approximately a quarter turn. Clean and inspect the air filter bowl before reinstallation. Wipe away any oil, dirt, or other contaminants from inside the bowl. A yellow residue in the filter bowl often indicates that oil is getting into the gas supply line. Also inspect the O-ring at the top of the filter bowl. Replace the O-ring if cracking or damage is found. Position the filter element inside the filter bowl and press down on top of the plastic fitting. The air filter element should snap into place. Place the air filter bowl back inside the metal guard and screw it into the air filter assembly hand tight. Reconnect the gas supply and the power cord to the machine and switch to the on position. If the low pressure fault light persists, then contact your hypertherm distributor or authorized repair facility for assistance. This concludes our video on the low amperage PowerMax low pressure fault. For more videos, please log on to the Hypertherm Cutting Institute.